two years. It was two years ago in September that I started painting. And here is my first little setup, just a kitchen table and a little bottle of Floetrol and a couple of paints. And that's how I started. I used to pour on paper. This is my first ever pour, you guys. The first one I ever did. And then I added silicone and that was my first silicone pour and my first flip cup. And I was so excited by the way it turned out. That's my first swipe ever and so I decided I wanted to try more and I I took over the whole kitchen table you can see and the next thing I know the paintings took over the whole living room <laughs> and my whole space was filled with paintings and I loved the fluid art form and I remember my first commission piece I remember writing the card to the client and saying thank you so much I would never forget my first sale it meant a lot to me and then I started getting more commissions and more sales and people wanted to know how I did this crazy pouring art so I set up the studio and with cameras and I started recording everything and that is how Heather Mater Art was born and I started my YouTube channel to share. I remember my first thousand subscribers I waited with bated breath for people to watch and then I had 2,000 and then 5,000 and my channel just kept growing and growing with so much support and love and I just remember being I'm blown away and I still feel so blessed. I've got to work with some of my idols, uh, Gina DeLuca and collaborations with Molly's Artistry. Those were my first two. Uh, Mixed Media Girl was one of them. Fiona, she was so nice to me and Saskia Smith and a big inspiration of mine was Elise Fournier, so talented, and Mina Villegas, such a kind person, and Gail Burston with Life in Spatters and uh, Cause Creations, and Harmony House Art, and then I got to do a collaboration with Heartfelt Artistry, and Sandra Lett, who takes my pores and transforms them into something absolutely stunning. I love doing collaborations with her. Thank you to all of you who watch and support the channel. And my Instagram has been a labor of love, but it's also been so fun to share my art with all of you and read the comments and get the support. I don't know, I guess I just have been feeling really sentimental lately about Heather Mater Art, watching, just watching it grow as I have grown over the last two years and how my space has transformed into a real art studio <laughs> and I'm a real business now and it's just such a good feeling to see something blossom something that was once a dream into reality and all the recognition I've gotten. Garteza's uh, Artist of the Month, that blew me away. And Julie Vatcher wrote this beautiful interview on me. It, it's just been, <laughs> I don't know, it, it's been amazing. And oh, and then I started doing the lives. <laughs> that has been super fun. Testing all the different kinds of paint. It just gives me a reason every week to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone and find new uh, paints to try for you guys, new pigments and new pouring mediums, things maybe that I wouldn't have tried to use on my own and maybe products that are brand, brand new. Um, testing different kinds of products to see how they work and it's been amazing because it's really pushed me to be a better artist and pushed me out of my comfort zone quite a bit. Um, after all, we do a lot of experiments on the lives and I fail sometimes and sometimes I succeed and you guys are right there with me. Um, 
I do try to say thank you so much by doing some giveaways on the live and I we've done some cool giveaways like the big golden giveaway and split cup giveaway and watercolors and I don't know I, I just have to say I want to thank you so much for all that you've done to support the channel and it means so much to me and I appreciate each and every one of you and I really mean that so all right, enough gushy. <laughs> I know I'm really gushy. I've been very sentimental and thinking a lot about life lately, but how about some painting? And I think we should just paint. This um, is a fun little painting, and I did this during a live event, and I wanted to show you what I ended up doing with it afterwards. That's part of the reason I wanted to show you. This is a little 8 by 16 canvas. Now if you want to know all the colors that we'll, I use, they're listed at the end of the video and I just did this one um, testing the Aussie Floetrol uh, as a cell activator just for a swipe. So I layered a bunch of the greens that was a pearl that was on top there and you can just see I'm layering all of these colors in fairly random patterns and a few that I want to really come through like that turquoise I, I layered at the top but I think the main thing about a swipe is the color that you swipe with you want it to be fairly thin so I took the Aussie Floetrol and I mixed it with a little bit of water and uh, the black and then poured it over the top there and just drizzle a little bit here and there. Um, those are my handy little swiping tools I like to use. Isn't that pretty? Now it did work so well with the Aussie Floetrol. Um, it really works well for swiping and creating that lacing and that's how people are getting the bloom effect. It's one of the ways. There's a lot of uh, technical things that make that bloom effect, but I, I really noticed that the Aussie Floetrol um, has a, a just a beautiful lacing effect any time that I've used it, so I'm sure that helps, but this is the kind of thing that you'll see on the lives, and I just decided to use a little bit of this water-based spray paint. You can find that in my Amazon shop. In fact, that's a great way to support my channel is by shopping the Amazon shop. And you could also be a support to the channel by being a patron of the arts and leaving a donation if you like this channel like these guys did. So it's a great way to leave a tip in the tip jar and support your favorite artists. Uh, the tip jar loves even small tips, so if that's something you're inclined to do, please do so. It's in the description box below. So this painting, <clears throat> I decided to add my little beautiful black and white balloon rolls, and I love the little um, ghost image created by the interruption of the pattern of the spray paint on there. And I really, I've been really intrigued by that ever since I tried that method. Not pretty. And I just think this painting is so fresh and bright, and it turned out so pretty. And I thought it dried really well too, and that's the painting dried. It's very shiny. All of my paints were mixed with Floetrol, and this was the black cell activator. And again, all the paints are listed at the end of this video if you're interested and you want to know which ones I used. I just thought that's so pretty, but I've been inspired lately to do some embellishments, and I just couldn't help myself, and I broke out the little brushes and I embellished this painting and this is what it looked like afterwards. It 
it's different, I know. But I'm trying to get comfortable with a brush. And I want to get more into brush painting this year. And this is helping me just feel more comfortable with the brush. And I like this painting both before and after the embellishments. Um, you can tell me what you think in the comments below what you thought. I appreciate each and every one of you and thank you so much for watching Heather Mater Art. Um, stick around if you want to know the colors that were used in this and as always I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.